This is a giant Yu-Gi-Oh collection, and we're unboxing it in this video. Time to do, 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 do. What is up, everybody? We are back with a massive collection. This is a consignment from the one, the only Ian Musso, which you guys hear at the end of every video. He's actually going through some personal stuff, so he's selling a lot of stuff. So it's it's pretty serious stuff, too. So if you want to send your prayers up for Ian, it would be great. Let's go through here and see if there's anything amazing. I mean, it's all going to be for sale because it's a consignment. So Ian reached out to me and said, hey, uh, I need to sell a lot of this stuff. I bought a lot of it from you, but can I consign it to you? And I was like, sure, man, whatever you need. Because he's been very, very supportive of the channel throughout the years, and I really appreciate it. So let's open it up. Let's see what's inside. I'm sure I'll recognize some of it because it's from me. We'll see what else is in here. Before we hop into the giant box, I'll be giving away this Galaxy Gas Photon Dragon. It is sealed. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below. What do you think the best card, like what's the most valuable card you're gonna see today? You might see on the thumbnail, it's pretty a valuable collection. So there should be something pretty good in here. All right, here we go. Here's the box. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna do too many spoilers, but we got a large amount of bubble wrap, first of all, which is gonna be useful for me to reuse later, actually. So thanks for that. Why does this look like a computer? What is this thing? Oh, that's like a briefcase or something. Okay, that's gotta be a lot of graded cards. Is there some sealed stuff there? I don't know. I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull this out separately and then let's get to it. Okay, they were in fact massive briefcase thing. There's two of them. Zip ties on these. Okay, these things were not coming open. Uh, how am I going to get them open is the question. I'm going to have to figure that out real quick. All right, we, we made it in, but I think the scissors have seen better days. They got a crack in there. This thing flew off. That's fine. They did their job. Okay, uh, this thing is really heavy. It's really big, so I don't think it's going to fit on the, uh, on the table. How do you open it, though? Okay, oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is graded packs. Oh, it's all, is this all graded packs? Okay, wait a second. Oh, wow, this is kind of sick, actually. <laughs> all right, yeah, yeah, okay, I, I need to show you guys this angle of, like, opening it up, what it looked like. This is what it looked like. I really need a slightly bigger setup where I can, like, fit this cool stuff. So here's what it looked like, boom. Right off the bat, Light of Destruction first edition pack, graded PSA 9. There looks like all of these are going to be PSA graded packs. And then I guess the other one's going to be PSA graded cards. Okay, good stuff. Okay, so as we saw, Light of Destruction first edition graded. Then a first edition Magic Ruler pack. By the way, these are the new slabs, as you can tell, because it doesn't fold them back. And this, these look way better. Honestly, these things are huge in person. Like, a lot of times people say, like, they get a booster box. Like, this is smaller than I thought it was. These are bigger than you think they are. They're freaking massive. First edition Gym Mint 10 First edition, all right, I don't need to say first edition twice, but Magic Ruler. Oh my gosh, check this out. L-O-B. Okay, I graded a few myself and sold them through ZNG Emporium, so I wonder, I guess there's a chance he, these could be uh, could be for me, but I don't think I was, was it probably wasn't in the 6 million. It was 6.9 million. Uh, uh, okay, I doubt it, but that's that's a big one. First edition L-O-B, that's a really big pack. Uh, tournament pack season two, whoa, that's pretty sweet as well. Thing is, these things seem like they move around a little bit. And don't forget, these are consignments, so they will be available on Ruxin34.com. So if you want to buy from me, well, it's really from Ian through me, etc., and support the channel that way, you can do that. So if you see anything you like, feel free to do that, and that will be going to Ian. Okay, first edition, Magician's Force. Okay, woo. Wonder what the pops are on these packs. That's pretty amazing looking, honestly. That is cool. That is cool. Gem Mint 10, Magician's Force pack. Elemental Energy. These are all 10s except the Light of Destruction so far. Elemental Energy First Edition. That looks like a, a uh, Euro pack. It has the Euro crimp. So I'm guessing that's a Euro First Edition pack. Still pretty cool because that has like the Euro print ultis and stuff, which is amazing. Then a First Edition Pharaonic Guardian. PSA 10, of course. Wow, there's some bangers in here. We have Tournament Pack 6 for the uh, the tunes. What is it? Tune Table of Contents in here. Tune Cannon Soldier, I think, is in there. No, is that Tune? Yeah, it is Tune Cannon Soldier Ultra. A Retro Pack 2. Oh, if you have Retro Pack 1, that this is going to be insane. PSA 10. I mean, this one might be a Euro pack as well. A lot of Retro Pack 2 is Euro. There is some North American Retro Pack 2, though. So uh, I would guess that's Euro, though. And that's cool. And then there's a second one, a Retro Pack 2. Of course, why not? Just have double of those. Right, two of Retro Pack 2. And yeah, he actually had it. Unfortunately, not a 10. It is in your Mitzvah 8, but this is a Retro Pack 1 pack, which is amazing. This is These are all Euro. And so we, of course, get the print. Uh, over here, which is going to be pretty exciting. We get the North American Retro Pack reprint. Very exciting. PSA 8, awesome. We have a PSA 10 Pharaoh Servant. Oh, is that first edition? Yeah, it is. Okay, it's right on the front of the thing. You can't really see it as well on that one. That's still really awesome. PSA 10, Phantom Darkness. Okay, so it looks like the Light of Destruction was a big outlier. Most of these are PSA 10, Phantom Darkness. Gem Mint 10, Invasion of Chaos. I mean, I've never had a pack collection like this, a graded pack collection before. This is pretty awesome. Gem Mint 10, Invasion of Chaos. Oh, careful with these big 
big things. But they're in giant slabs, so they are completely fine. We have Labyrinth of Nightmare First Edition Gem Mint 10. This is like every set, I think, of the first 10, or the first 11, basically. Honestly, like, how many in a row is this? Because that's Crimson Cry. We're like way into it at that point. I wonder how many of the first sets he has. Flaming Eternity, that, oh, it's a, this one's a nine. Interesting. He actually had a nine on Flaming Eternity. This is the 14th set ever made. So, uh, okay, we're up there. We don't have Ancient Sanctuary yet, so we're still looking for that. A Cybernetic Revolution First Edition. That is the second GX set behind the Lost Millennium, I think. So we're getting up there. That's 16th set then. If you don't count like side sets, 16th core set, because there are side sets at that point. Turnip pack season one. So there are some of the turnip packs. I think it's one, two, and six so far. That's beautiful. Okay, finally, we haven't seen our second set yet. Metal Raiders. So, so far we have LOB, MRD, MRL, PSV, LON. Do we have LOD yet? I don't know if we have LOD yet. Oh, look, double Metal Raiders. First, oh, and look, look what I was asking for. There it is. So we have LOD. We have Pharaonic Guardian. We don't Dark Crisis, I don't think. He had Pharaonic Guardian. He had Invasion of Chaos, Magician's Force. No Ancient Sanctuary, no Pharaonic Guardian, no Soul of the Duelist, no Rise of Destiny. I mean, still, like, most of the good ones. This is the first 10 sets, so he has all those. He has double Metal Raiders. So that's good stuff. So oh, look how big this tower is. You can't, well, you can't even see. It's it's freaking mad. Let me hold it up. And these things are heavy, too. Like, these are heavy duty. Like, bigger than my head, which is saying something. All right, let's move on to the second one. This should be uh, cards now. So the packs were cool. Very awesome. The cards are are also really awesome so let's see what is inside okay there's some loose packs in here too interesting i just have to pick those up myself okay this this is where this is where we get even more spicy i mean some of this is not super spicy but it is spicy all right so there are graded cards there are some packs and there's some blisters and stuff like that so first of all i think what these are these feel like they came out of our mystery packs let's see so could have been because there are six packs that's right yeah plus, minus the bonus packs so those are not in here well maybe they are i'm not actually sure because there are some extra other packs maybe these could be them there's a bunch of these so let's just get all these packs out why didn't i buy these back bro because uh some of these are getting older at this point which is cool that is kind of a funny thing about like when, if you buy mystery packs like in a few years it's going to be like wow these are kind of old you know at this point they're not so new anymore i wonder what iteration because we've, we've done a couple mystery packs but we haven't done one in a while so at this point they are kind of like 2021 stuff like that 2022 uh lob 25th so that must be the newest one because we had those in there uh synchro storm not definitely not our best inclusion so anytime seeing a legendary duelist not amazing battles of chaos first edition is great wild survivor is cool crystal revenge is always going to be pretty cool just because of all those starlights in there let's see what else i'm the mega tens yeah the, sad what they're kind of doing in the mega tens they used to be like a staple like amazing like they always had really good stuff and they're just kind of getting overshadowed by rarity or bonanza or whatever now uh ghost from the past one dude some of these ghosts from the past are kind of nice actually mention force burst tactical masters tactical masters uh i always forget about that set completely because collector rare sets i just cannot remember unless they had something like ridiculous in them uh, another crystal revenge synchro brothers of legend okay power of the elements on limb okay uh ghost of the past first dead and el dorado two left metal raiders uh cyberstorm access speed tool turn back this is kind of just the extra stuff a speed tool turn back one that's actually kind of sick i didn't know we put those in there <laughs> That's, that's amazing or at least i forgot maybe i did know but uh pfft. Yeah, that's that's sweet. Uh, yeah, let Soul Burning Volcano, not great. First Dead Power of the Elements, that's good. Okay, Ghost of the Past two. Wow, Speed Duel Turn of Pack one. That's actually sick. <laughs> that's a really cool pack. All right, I think those are from my mystery packs. That's that's what it feels like. Me and Sassiato that we uh, collabed on. Okay, a Retro Pack two. These seem like they could be the bonus packs. Phantom Rage. Is that a bonus pack? Just as impact. Yeah, I guess if you got a green, maybe. Uh, Armageddon again. Nice. Dark Illusion. Armageddon. Do a lot of Armageddon packs. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to get these just for the potential of 10k. I mean, not going to happen, but somebody did do that out of our mystery pack. They pulled it, which is insane. All right, let's do the blisters real quick. We have a first ed magic ruler. This one feels like it might be coming apart. Yeah, definitely coming apart, but you know, probably an unweighed pack in there. You could have slipped it out, but depends on where you got it from, when that happened, etc. But either way, still nice pack. We have the Light of Destruction, which they had weird Light of Destruction blisters. Like, they were so small. This is very strange. Uh, $4.99, uh, that is what I will be paying Ian to buy this from him. Not really. Not That is way too cheap for that. Same thing there. First, Ed, we do have the reprint of Unlim coming out soon, which is cool. And a Shadow of Infinity First Edition. Beautiful. That actually looks like a normal blister pack. And then Legacy of Darkness in this really cool, like, blister 
top loader thing, like whatever this is, it's kind of awesome. All right, here are the PSA cards for me and let's see what they are. So I already have a spoiler on a big one. We have Goblin Attack Force. I did have one of these for sale. This could have been the one for me. Oh man, this he's got some nice cards. Okay, a lot. not all of these will be up on Ruxin34.com because some I might be buying myself because these are nice. Like maybe this one, I already have one, Millennium Shield, but I am tempted to get another one. I mean, Millennium Shield is one of my favorite cards ever. It's amazing, it's a gem mint 10, that's awesome. We have Imp Imperial Order, that is a secret rare PSA 10. Goddess of Whim PSA 10 for McDonald's pack. This one he did get for me, I remember this. This is the Amazon of Swordswoman. First edition MFC, nice card. There is a Vampire Lord, ooh, Dark Crisis First Dead. That, I think that was for me as well. This one was definitely not for me, because I did not have, that is a nice card. Wild Edge PSA 10 Ultimate Rare. I don't know if I've ever had this PSA 10. I think I had two PSA 9s, so it's that's pretty nice. That's, that's a big one. Uh, Satellite Cannon Champion Pack 1. Always thought this card was underrated. I have one that's really off-centered. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll switch it with this one. <laughs> and, uh, I'll, whatever, whatever we'd have to do. How would we have to do there? Buy it, sell mine. I guess that's what I'd do. Something like that. Then we have the Book of Moon. Oh, Book of Moon Champion Pack 1. That's insane. Champion Pack 1, super rare Book of Moon. Wow, there are some big cards in this collection. I told you guys this was big. Dark Paladin PSA 10, Jim Mint. Oh my gosh. Some of these he definitely didn't get from me. Like this one, Cyberdark Dragon. I've not sold mine, by the way. PSA 10 Ultimate Rare First Edition. Oh my gosh. That is a huge card. That's going to be hard to value. I, I always do that for my top cards one and i can never find value on it. i just have to guess a rare value <laughs> speaking of value and rare we have rare value the ultimate rare that's another beautiful card this one he got for me as well tp7 uh breaker nice super rare don't see those sell very often a black cluster soldier soldier of chaos this one was actually consigned from robert in the big hunter k bought by ian who is now consigning it with me so it's a big loop but this is a really cool card very cool. Ghost rare. Uh, Turner pack seven. That's a rare. Interesting. So nothing too crazy, but it's a rare. TP seven. Uh, Plate wolf secret rare. That's a nice card. I think Gage and Simo have something, some, some story about this. We threw it away or something like that. Oh baby, thousand eyes restrict first edition. Yeah, I definitely didn't sell this. That is a really sweet card. Thousand eyes restrict PSA. I don't. Do I have this card? I don't think I have that card. It's a nice card. Oh man, there is some man. Ian had he had, he had a nice he had some nice collection going on. Okay, he bought this one on eBay as the void of damage thing. We have a dark piercing light bought off eBay. Very nice. That's a nice McDonald's pack card. The luminous soldier, a PSA 10 TP5. Awesome. Another eBay purchase. Takamino, dude, he got like all the McDonald's pack cards. Does he have Cosmo Queen? That's the last one he needs for the hollows. Uh, Twin Headed Behemoth, uh, once per turn, once per dual effect, I should say. Uh, eBay, is this gonna be the Cosmo? No, okay, that is a Donza Lug, PSA 10. That's another sweet card. All right, this could be it. Oh, I thought that was TP3. Oh my gosh. I was like, he has a TP3 need to work. It's a TP5. This is still a nice card. Bought off eBay, it looks like. Woo, I got, I, I almost died right there. I was like, Oh my gosh, that is insane. Okay, let's see about this one. There's the Cosmo Queen. I knew it'd be in here somewhere. So the whole McDonald's set, we might sell that as a set. That might be something cool for us to do. Ruxin34.com, if you want any of this stuff, if it's gonna be available, it'll be on Ruxin34.com. Go check it out. We have Effect Veiler PSA 10, Starlight Rare out of Eternity Code. That's nice. A, okay, Marinza, does he have, Marinza Seahorse, does he have Apollosa or something? Access Code Talker, okay. Battles Legend Crystal Revenge. We saw a pack of that earlier. Nice card. We have a Stardust Dragon. That's from the Collector 10. Super rare. Okay. Another eBay purchase. Ooh, Dark Magician. Wait, I could have swore he bought one of these from me. Well, this one's from eBay. Interesting. Wait. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Metamorphosis PSA 10. Champion pack one. Wow, those are two big cards. Okay. Three cards left in the collection. Solemn Judgment, another nice one off eBay. Two cards left. So far, Ian, your collection is really, really amazing. And if you guys want to purchase some of his collection, make sure you check out Ruxin34.com. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 250K. When we get there, we're going to be doing big openings, every pack, etc. Consignments are closed, by the way. I'm not doing any consignments for anybody right now. I'm trying to finish all the ones I currently have. Eventually, I'll do more, but I want to focus on everybody we have right now. And with Ian having some big cards here we want to make sure i don't want to oversaturate myself because then i just can't i just don't have time to ship everything keep up with everything and then everyone suffers when that happens so I, they're, they're closed at the moment collections are currently sort of close and so not really buying those right now those will probably be back sooner than the consignments are because those are a lot easier to do consignments you got to keep track of everything it takes a lot of time so two left we have a oh night assailant he has three of the four supers what's the other one that he doesn't have night assailant metamorphosis book of moon he has no he has the the satellite cannon ultra too 
So he's missing one, one PSA 10? I can't remember what it is though. What's the card? I can't remember, but here's the big card. This one you will recognize. You have seen it pulled. You have seen it graded. The Blue Eyes White Dragon. And honestly, I think I'm gonna have to buy this one from him. He tried to give it to me in the video. That's not acceptable. He's gonna consign it out. I should be the one to buy this, I think. Yeah, that's probably what's gonna happen. This is probably not for sale. I'm probably gonna try to get all my consignment fees to help me buy this thing from all these other cards because we pulled it and it just feels right. It feels right that I should buy this and not sell it for Ian to somebody else. So I will buy it from Ian instead. So I think that's probably what's gonna happen. This is the blue eyes we pulled. It would be an awesome addition. I have a wavy one already and this is the one I actually pulled out of a pack. It would fit with my Dark Magician, my Exodia, which is not graded, and then my red eyes that I pulled. So the big four out of LOB. So that's probably what's gonna happen with that one. Pretty awesome collection, Ian. Uh, I think that we're gonna have a lot of amazing things on the website for everybody so go check out ruxin 34com if you especially those packs we're gonna those are probably all gonna be on there i don't usually collect those myself so i'm not gonna have any interest myself at buying them but most of these cards are gonna be up there as well so go check it out wow what a great collection and make sure you guys send some prayers up for ian because he is going through a really tough time so and he's been a great guy really nice really considerate when he talks to me and he's always been supportive of the channel so i just feel bad for what he's going through right now so make sure you guys just uh send him a message in the comments whatever you want to do just to help support shout out to tone Fo show and nesto dn america deutscher kk Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa Jr. Barding, Robert F. Chang Lang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.